What is going on everybody? It's Tyler with Tyler Talks Travel Trailers. We are going to dive right into this Catalina and skip the intro. This is a really nice floor plan. I've been waiting a while for this thing to come in. We seem to just sell it every time it gets here. The price point is fantastic. It's a 30 foot trailer under $25,000, which is unheard of. And when we go inside, you'll see the value in this thing. It's an amazing floor plan for the whole family. You got bunk beds, you got a couch, a dinette. We're gonna dive inside first and then we'll come outside. So this thing's only weighing in at right at 4,800 pounds. It does not have a slide out. So that kind of gives you a lighter trailer without the slide. So if you're someone that wants a little bit more length, then definitely go without the slide. That definitely adds a lot of weight when you have the slide out. This is a great starting camper for a family. You know, if you're just coming, either you're graduating from a pop-up or this is your first one and you don't know what you like or don't like, this is a great starting point. Just because it's a starting trailer does not mean this is entry level. There's a lot of things about this that are more mid-level, like the roof mounted AC. They do make trailers nowadays with the wall mounted. Those just seem to not work as good as this. So roof mounted AC in this, you got nice big tanks in this that I'll discuss outside. But right as you walk in, you can see you got everything. You got a dinette, you got a couch over here. So there's no missing on this trailer. They kind of give you a little bit of everything. This dinette will turn into a bed. So you just take those poles out and then it lays flat onto those little stoppers right there and then you put the cushions on. So this is nice, you know, if you have kids and they bring their friends along, you know, you can accommodate them and have extra sleeping. I'm 5'7", I could fit on that bed, but definitely won't fit someone that's like 6'4". Over here, you got your nice couch. This will fold flat as well for extra sleeping. You got the nice cup holders right here. And then you got storage underneath as well. So that's a nice sleeping area. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. <laughs> I would not complain on this bed if, I, if it was raining. Let's see, can I get this up? There we go, okay. So what I love is you got both options. You got the couch and the dinette for extra seating space. You know, if it's raining or anything like that, there's plenty of room for everyone to come in here and just hang out. To the right, you got your kitchen area, big farm style sink. So plenty of room to actually do dishes in this. It's not one of those small ones where you can't even fit a plate in it. So when everyone's done eating, you got plenty of you know, space to do the dishes, clean up three top burner looks really nice it's got the igniter and the fancy lights the hood the fan and light combo right here microwave pretty standard stuff they give you a decent amount of storage on this with the cabinet space and then they give you these nice little baskets to just store some extra stuff in you got plenty of windows around on both sides of this trailer. You got three on this side in the main, in the bedroom and then right here against the kitchen area. And then you got a nice big window over here by the four seater dinette that actually opens so you can let in a nice cross breeze. Over here you got some more cabinet space. Yeah, this will definitely fit the family. They make another one of these that has a slide out. So if you're looking for one with the slide, they make uh, this floor plan with a separate room. There's actually a wall for the main bedroom and it has a slide out and the price point is, it's still under 30 grand. So as soon as we get one of those in, I will definitely show you that. It's a little heavier. You got the bigger double bunks. So it's not those small ones where they're like squished in there, like the coffins. You got a, a window on this bunk. You don't have a window on this one, but they do give you a light as well as USB charging plugs right here. So each bunk will have its own plugs and a curtain as well. You'd be surprised how many companies don't give you a curtain. It's just those little things that a lot of companies will just cut corners on and not give it to you. It does not have a TV, but it does have the plugs and everything right here for you so you can mount it right there. But overall, I love this space. It's really nice that you get a couch and a dinette in this size of unit. And how light it is, it's only 4,800 pounds dry. So you could tow this with almost like a Tacoma for sure. 
So if you come to the front, this is the main sleeping area. You got a nice north-south bed that you can actually walk around. So a lot of people like the north-south bed. It's obviously you won't have to wake up your partner if you go, need to go to the bathroom or anything like that. But mainly making the bed is a lot easier as well. So when it's facing this way, it's kind of hard to get the sheets on, you know. I also want to point out you got kind of two nice areas to put stuff and charge it as well. So I know I get a lot of people that use a CPAP machine. I don't know exactly how they look or how big they are, but I'd imagine this would fit it perfectly right there. And then you got your plugs. So if you're someone that needs to put a CPAP machine next to you at night, this might be a fantastic option. They even give you some cubbies up here as well as plenty of lights in here. You got four lights in here. Let's see how deep these are. So you got one of these on both sides and then you got storage up top. And then you got storage down here as well. So plenty of storage in the front. This does not have the door, but it does have a curtain. I kind of like this, how they have this open. Sometimes in these rooms that they make in these smaller bunk houses, the wall is so close. And I do get people that are kind of claustrophobic with that wall. So if you're someone that's claustrophobic, having this open area right here might help you a lot. So really nice front room. You got some storage down here under the sink for your pots and pans. This does not have the oven. We order a mixture of ovens and not ovens because some people would prefer the storage like this, but in replace of this, it would be an oven. You got a nice big fridge, gas electric fridge with the separate freezer. So really nice that they're doing the separate freezer. You got a little cubby up there. And then we'll check out this bathroom. Before we go into this bathroom, I actually missed this. Look at that storage underneath here as well. So you got extra storage underneath that bottom bunk, which is really nice. It's kind of tucked away. It could be the dog house. You could put a dog bed under there. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go into the bathroom. All right, let's go into the bathroom. See how much room we got in this thing. Nice. Tons of floor space on this. I think we're going to be just fine on this one. So we'll sit on the toilet. You know, we got to see how much room we got. So not bad. I'd say this is going to work just fine for most people. And then the shoulders. I got plenty of room right here. There's no, you know, sink or anything in the way. Sometimes they put these sinks like right on top of you and you can't even sit on the toilet. So I think this one is positioned really nicely. Good size shower. Your roof vent right there. Pretty standard, just hot and cold water. It doesn't have the shower miser or anything like that. You got a nice place to hang your towels and a big enough sink to brush your teeth. So that's a, that is not a bad, bad bathroom considering the bunks are right here. Sometimes they make the bathroom really tight because of the bunks in this area. So plenty big for people to get out and dry off. But overall, not bad. What do you think? $22,995 sale price. Great starting trailer if you're graduating from a pop-up or it's your first one. Got room for the whole family. Got room for the kids and their friends to come along with these extra sleeping areas. This is your control panel right here. So you got indoor and outdoor JBL speakers. Really nice. And then you're, you don't have a slide, so you don't need to worry about that. But you got an awning. It's electric. Just push the button and it'll do its thing. Your water heater, uh, your water pump, all that stuff. You just flip a switch and it'll do its thing. So really nice and easy to use. So your AC is roof mounted, but you do have vents it's all ducted so it'll push all the air to the front and to the bunks as well so it'll definitely cool this area down nicely it does have a gas furnace as well so there's your heater it's not an electric heater this is gas so you don't need to worry about using a generator or anything like that you do need to use a generator if you're like using anything like your ac your microwave your tv if it's not a 12 volt tv 
things like that you'll have to use a generator so really nice i wanted to show this as fast as i could because this price point is just fantastic you're not breaking the bank you're getting the whole family out let's see here look at those nice lights they don't they don't do that all the time you could pick a bunch of different colors <laughs> that'd get kind of annoying if it was doing that but you got a really big awning it's electric like i said this is a 15 foot awning so almost the whole entire length of the trailer and you can tilt it so you can tilt it depending on where the sun's at you know to block it or if it's raining you can have the the rain water just kind of pull off you got a nice pass-through storage right here with the magnets. So look at that storage, really great pass-through storage. So you can definitely bring everything you want along. And then you could even put a cargo rack in the back if you'd like, but this is, this is plenty of storage for all your chairs, fishing poles, things like that. You got your nice solid steps. Oh, kitty. You got the solid steps, so that's really nice that they're giving you these. These just fold right into the doorway. They connect to the ground, so it's a lot more solid than the ones that hang off the side. Like I said, you got JBL speaker out here, just your plugs if you want to bring a TV out or anything like that. You are getting dual axle once you get up to this length, so that's kind of nice. Three tires are better than one if you get a flat. Ooh, what is this? More storage. Look at that. So more storage underneath the bunk. Sometimes they turn this into like an outdoor kitchen, but this one looks like it just gives you storage. Some people prefer having just the storage instead because they'll bring like a disco, disco along or, or a grill on their own. So if you'd prefer the storage, this one has it. Tons of storage space. Got the leash link right here and then your stabilizers. So the best thing to do is just get a drill with the same socket size and they'll go, they'll go down just as fast as, you know, the electric ones. Pretty standard stuff. You got your six gallon water heater. Like I said, no slide. This does have a black tank flush, which is nice. So when you need to clean out your tanks, you just hook your water hose up to this and then there's jets in the tank that will kind of wash off your black tank. This is a 30 amp plug. So you'll plug into that if you're going to a campground or a generator. And then you got your potable water. So this is if you're dry camping right here. And on this particular trailer, your tanks are gonna be, so your fresh water tank is 44 gallons. Your gray water tank is 40 gallons and your black water is 30 gallons. So decent sized tanks right there. So you got dual propane tanks. You got a battery disconnect right there. So when you're ready to store it, you just turn the batteries off really nice. So really start nice starting camper. What do you guys think? Once the one with the slide comes in, I'll definitely hit it quickly. That way you guys could check it out. But like I said, it does add some weight when you get that slide. If you're needing something that's a little light, and will sleep the entire family. This definitely will do that for you. Your hitch weight is five, 515 pounds. Uh, your fully loaded weight is 6,400 pounds and your cargo carrying capacity is 1,578 pounds. So obviously you don't have to load this up to the brim and put 1,500 pounds of stuff in here. Usually the average person is like right around 800 pounds. And your length, like I said, is 30 feet, one inch total. Your width is eight feet and the height is 10 feet, seven inches, and that includes the AC. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, we kind of went through that one quickly. Hopefully you appreciate it. And if, if you're new to the channel, I do a new tour every single day. So like, and subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.